episode. Are we live? On YouTube. All right, we're live on YouTube. This is Neil Blackman from Snowboard Addiction. We're going live. We're going to do a gym session here with uh, Mason. And uh, we're going to teach you guys some stuff on how to uh, improve your snowboarding during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, just checking on the technology here. So we're live on Facebook and YouTube. Mm-hmm. We're both live. How's it look? Can you see the both the balance bars? Yep. Sweet. Can you see me? I don't know, just as a shadow? Yep. All right, awesome. Cool, come on in. So uh, we're here we're live on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks very much for tuning in. It is Monday? Yeah. Nobody knows what day it is anymore. <laughs> we know we know what you guys are just sitting at home, so we're giving you some entertainment. Um, gym session. Obviously, this is the uh, Snowboard Addiction Balance Bar. We've got the gym boards. And um, if you guys don't have one of our setups, you can do this on a snowboard. So if you want, get your stuff out right now. You can play along with us. You can get a snowboard, and you can jump around your living room on the carpet. Um, you can get an old skateboard deck. Or if you happen to have one of our setups, get it out now. Play along with us. Um, we're just going to uh, learn some new tricks, and then we'll finish off with a game of skate. So, Mason, let's set the top piece off. Let's get strapped in. And I want to uh, help you learn something new and then um, see if we can teach that to everybody else. So, what is a trick you want to learn right now? Um, on, a, on a snowboard, real, on a real snowboard. Maybe blunt slide. Um, to 270 out, but I gotta get blunt slide to 270 out. Okay, blunt slide to 270 out. Um, so front blunt or back blunt? Back blunt. Back blunt, okay. So are you regular or goofy? Goofy. Okay, so we're doing everything goofy. So back blunt, jump all the way over. Because right now, any of you guys watching, the balance bar is behind us right now. So that makes it a backside trick. Anything from this trick is backside. Now, this is a trick that Mason actually wants to learn on a snowboard, and he's probably going to be able to do it on the balance bar pretty easy. That's the point. Do it on the balance bar a bunch of times until it is really easy, and then you've got the idea of what that body position is going to feel like when you're on the mountain. So he was saying first thing he need to learn how to do a back blunt to fakie. So this is what, this is what a back blunt to fakie looks like. Okay. Cool. Now let's go all the way back over. So the reason it's called a back blunt is because this here would be a backside forward slide, but if you go all the way to the back foot, that's back blunt. Back blunt to fake. So you take a video? Yeah. Yeah, it gets hot quick. <laughs> so let's do it again, back blunt to fakey. Cool. Now what I want you to do is come back over to this side. Bouncing my balance bar out of the way a little bit on purpose because we're going to do this trick without the balance bar. And this is for you guys watching to learn what this back blunt 270 yard is, looks like. So if you're watching me, we're goofy right now, we're riding this way. I go back blunt to the tail, and while I'm on that tail, I really open up this body a lot because I have to 270 out of that back blunt. So I go like this. If you watch me, tail 270 out. And the key thing is that body position. So I know you can probably do this. Do it again. Okay. So straight away when you do your back one, you counter rotate. Yeah. Which which is not how you do this trick. This is actually a trick where it goes all the way through with rotation and counter rotates only at the last minute. So if you watch me, rotate, counter rotate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, try that. So even then, you kind of when you got on, you kind of paused. Yeah. You know what I mean? Try it again. Watch this. When I get on to the tail, the body keeps moving. Keeps moving. Yeah. It keeps moving. So you go into the tail and all the way around. That's it. Did you guys see the difference there? When Mason first did it, this is what he did. Watch me. He jumped onto the tail and stopped. Mm-hmm. If you do that, you'll never get the 270 out. Mm-hmm. So do that again with the with the rotation. Boom. That's that's how it works. Try it again. Now I want you to do it how you did it the first time, where you kind of like counter rotate that starting motion. 
Do that? Yeah. It stops you. Yeah. So if it stops you, it's really hard to get that two C. Yeah. So now that we've got this, we're going to be jumping on the um, the balance bar. So we're starting without the top piece. And um, obviously you're going to get that, that uh, let's start off with the um, back one to fakie again. But back one to fakie with that old motion where it goes. Watch me. So it comes around. Now just so we don't have to jump over, we're now rotating this way. And again, back one to fakie. See, it almost wanted to 270 out, right? Because you've already got that rotation working. Yeah. We're now riding this way, loopy. So if you get up into that position and you and you allow the body to keep rotating through and you feel like you can feel that 270, that's when it goes. So watch me. Better in the body position, just wasn't quite into the blunt. Better. Okay, Sorry. try it from this side because I want to show you guys watching us um, that you can actually do it from this side too. And this side would be called a uh, tail slide 270. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching me right now, holding up into the tail slide 270 out. Now I actually feel like on the balance bar, this one's the easier one. Yeah. So do it again. Cool. And as you get on, keep that body opening a little bit more. Better. Okay, now all the way over. And we're gonna go blunt slide 270. Good. Now, now if you're feeling good, this is when you start adding the top piece. Because um we want to make it difficult now on purpose. You want to you want to really challenge yourself so that when you actually are snowboarding, you've got the best chance possible of pulling this trick off. So grab the uh, top piece. This makes it way harder to balance. It makes it and it makes it more slippery. So I'll, I'll give you an example straight off the bat. Um, what side do you like best? The tail side you see me or the back one you see me? Tail side probably easier. Okay, so we'll we'll do both, but we'll start with the tail side you see me because it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Now right now, this is where you have to put your legs um, to work to balance. You can't just hang out on it. So tail side you see me. Nice. How'd that feel? Felt good. Okay, again. Good, perfect. Yeah, I and feel I feel like I could even still open up a bit more. Yeah, the more you open it. up, the easier it is to get that 270 out. So like, let me give you an example of if you don't open up very much. If you don't open up very much, it's extremely hard to get the 270 out. You'll, uh, you'll either only get a Tafeki or you'll get a 180 out. You've got to be in that position where the lower body and upper body are like twixt against each other, which brings that 270 out quick. So you can see just from standing here, if I was to open up like this, my board's gonna land, that's the 270. Go try that jump back. And that's the 270 out. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you open that body, the easier it is to get that 270 out. Yeah. One more time, onto the, onto the bar. Nice, now let's go the harder way, which is the back blunt 270. So same trick, but we have to jump all the way over to the back foot as we approach, which is why it, I guess it makes it a tiny bit harder, is now you have to jump from this position to that position. Nice. Oh, that was good. That was yeah. your best one. That yeah. was good. That was really good. Here we go. Coming in, a little bit of rotation as I come in. Rotating in, 270 out. Doesn't matter which side you come out. If you came out that side, I came out this side, no issue either way. 
Okay, here we go again. Nicely done. Nicely done. So this is a trick that uses both rotation and counter-rotation. Because you're rotating into the trick, rotating through the trick, and just counter-rotating that last little bit. One more time. Ah, nice. Didn't get it. So, um, for any of you guys asking questions, because I can see on our Facebook feed there's questions coming up, I apologize, we can't read the questions from here because we're like three meters away from the phone. And it's literally just me and Mason here. We're at the office, self-isolating, um, and uh, can't answer your questions, but we will go through the comments after the video and um, answer as many of them as we can. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys some cool things you can practice at home um, while we're in this coronavirus pandemic. There's not a whole lot of stuff to do, so you might as well stay active. Um, you know, everyone, apparently gym equipment all over the world is sold out, Silly. like yeah. weights and stuff. <laughs> so, you know, um, snowboard, why not train for snowboarding while you're at home? If you've got enough room, you've got a living room, um, it's fun. It's a good, good workout. Room. Yeah, Definitely. it gets you hot and sweaty real quickly. So last time on that trip. Nice. Cool. So that makes sense? Yeah. Is that better than you were doing? better, yeah. Okay. I think in the games of skate the other day with you, yeah. that's where I was struggling. I wasn't opening up when I was in the when I was in the blood slide. Cool. And so now um you you've got this uh this motion. You can add uh, next time you snowboard, which might be a while. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> um, no, I, I guess that, hang on. We're in Whistler. You can walk up a hill. Yeah. You can walk up a hill. Um, but if you get like a, a fairly basic feature like a flat box or a small rail, hmm. if you want to try it on something um. Fairly basic, mm -hmm. but that's that body position. Cool? Yep. All right. Sounds good. Important to note, anytime you take a trick from a balance bar to an actual snowboard trick, you have to make sure you keep that base completely flat with the feature you're sliding. So if that feature is slightly downhill, make sure that you keep base, that your weight of your snowboard and you downhill at that same angle. What that means is that right now these are flat, so we can have our body upright. But if you're on a slight downhill feature, your body needs to be leaning down with that same feature to stay in balance. Cool. Makes sense. All right, what's another trick you want to learn? Um, let's see. Um, how about a front lift 270 out of press? Whoa. That would be. Front lift 270 pretzel, yeah. okay. So, um, so let's start off and show them what a front lift is, mm -hmm. and then we'll show them what a pretzel is, yeah. and then we'll try the front lift pretzel here. Okay, so we're both goofy. I'm actually I'm regular, but he's goofy. So today we're goofy, which means we're riding this way. Mm -hmm. Rail's in front of us right now. Anything in front of us is front side. So now we're going to show you what a front side lip slide is. So you show them a front side lip slide. Cool. So come back over. So the key thing with a lip slide is that your foot and your board is coming up over the rail into that board slide position. So back foot comes up and over. And it quite often gets caught, like you kind of catch the rail a little bit on your front foot on purpose. So if you see me riding goofy, I'm going to catch it a little bit on this foot. So you'll see, that's what a lip slide is. So do that. That's your front side lip slide. Now, I want to show you guys now what a pretzel is. So a pretzel is where you 270 out of your feature the opposite way you came on. So let's jump over. This would be a board slide coming back out regular, or a board slide coming back out goofy. Do that. And this is a board slide coming out with a pretzel. Cool. Cool. So, so a pretzel is where you 270 out the opposite direction that you came on. So it involves a lot of twisting. That's where it got the name pretzel. So here we go again, pretzel. 270 out. Good, so backboard pretzel. So now what our Mason wants to learn is how to do the front side lip slide with a pretzel combined. So, so, <laughs> so I'm going back to behind. Or with the rails in front of us? Yeah. 
getting into that front lip, pretzeling out. Okay, you got this. Cool, so straight away, um, if you're really snowboarding, I saw that as you were coming on, you were trying to use momentum to come on. Yeah. It's actually the opposite. Okay. This one here, if you had your arms a little bit forward, that will get you into a better position to pretzel out. Okay. There we go. See that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. So it's like a lip slide. The only difference really is that in a lip slide, you're chilling, do a lip slide. And to pretzel out, you're not chilling. To pretzel out, you need to be twisted with your body so that you can 270 out. Try that. So just stand here like this and twist a lot. 270, boom. That's the pretzel. So if you're kind of just chilling in a lip slide, it's super hard to pretzel out. You've got to be like twisted so that you can get 270 out. So ground way back. Goopy. Front lip, pretzel out. That's it. Nice. Good. Now that's a, that's a pretty difficult trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? It's um, not quite there yet. Yeah, no, it's, it's, that is honestly a really difficult trick. The one that I would recommend first is just the backboard pretzel. Because it's um it's much more common and it's easier. So when I say backboard pretzel, this is what it looks like behind you, backside forward side, pretzel out. Much more common trick. Yeah, it's, uh, it's easier. Yeah. Cool. So um I think what we're doing right now is Mason and I are gonna have a game of skate. But I'm gonna make it easy on him <laughs> because I'm gonna take off the top piece. Well, he can take the top piece off and I'll keep it on. So it takes more balance for me. And um, we're going to be like rapid fire, bam, 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 just tricks. Everything we're going to do is also goopy. So I'm normally regular, so it makes it just that little bit more confusing for me. I've got to pay attention to what he's doing. And um, oh, shit, YouTube is uh, off. We're going to have to fix up our YouTube stream. <laughs> is it running a battery, maybe? Maybe. Sorry, guys, on Facebook, let's be one too. Fixing up our YouTube live stream. How long has it been something like that? I just noticed it. it must have just happened. Um, if um if the YouTube uh if that's out of battery, you can just put it up to Facebook. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are fixing up the live stream on YouTube, and we'll be right back with the game skate. Hopefully, that wasn't like that for a while. Yeah. So yeah, you can be top piece off, I'll be top piece on. Okay. You can be goopy and I'll be goopy. Okay. It's a disadvantage for me. I'm gonna give them a couple of advantages. So game escape, just like uh, Battle of the Barracks, except we're doing snow. S N O W, but uh, same rules. Um, Rochambeau sets the trick. And uh, yeah. You guys will catch on pretty quick. You ready, version by one, two, shoot? One, two, shoot. I win. Okay. Yes, ready? Yeah. Um, we'll be forgiving to start, and as we get complicated, we'll, just be, we'll, we'll start to get more, um, yeah. more uh, what do you call it? Pick. Okay. Okay. Tail press from one. Tails. Switch tail slide, just hit me. Press, change up to backboard.
front blunt pretzel, or front blunt, uh, front blunt two seven. One eighty to tail freaks. Okay, I'm gonna just start getting harder because yeah. you're landing all these tricks. <laughs> okay, come back over this side. Front one pretzel. Okay. Oh, I kind of used the wall there a bit. Okay, so what are you going to do? Yeah, we got a few of this? Yeah, I wouldn't count that. Okay. Yes, okay. Um, now, it's kind of weird having to think of these tricks in Goofy because I'm just so not used to running yeah. this way. Uh, front blunt, change up board slide. Set because I just got a little bit off balance. <laughs> Gotta be more in balance. Tail press, change up front board. Nah, I'm saying not my set. Okay. Wasn't balanced enough. I'll do the same trick. Ah, oh, okay, I'm taking this. Yes, um, this didn't get balanced enough to go for it. Let's go front, no, back board. Back board to, or sorry, front board to. No, not front board. You can just do the tricks and I'll copy as well. Okay. Um, well, I want to do a change up here. I always get confused with the names for change ups. So front, I guess we'll do front lip to, to front board. Okay. <sighs> that was kind of. Not balanced yeah, though? I wouldn't count that. Okay, my set. Do the same thing. Front lip, front board. Go nose press 360. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, that's a hard one. Ah, no, I'm not good enough. No, not good enough. Okay, I'm doing the same thing front board. Oh, front lip, front board. Okay. Ah, I'm not balanced enough. Oh, so you're not counting that? Okay. Um, let's go 180. 180 tail press to switch tail press, change up. I guess it would be a switch tail press with 180 tail, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't count. Well, that's a tricky one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try the same thing. Okay. 180 tail press to switch tail press. Two seventy. Okay. Hardway two seventy pull back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It did not get it. Okay, I'll try the same trick. No. Okay, I'm trying the same trick. Hardway two seventy pull back. Stuff now. Oh, we'll give it to you. Okay, backside 270, pull back. Oh, oh you got a no. yes, yes, yes in. Yeah. Okay, back look. So you're going to be this way, back look. Front 
gonna say no sit. I tap it on the way out. Okay. Um, let's go front, front blunt. Um, with I guess it'd be like knee grab. Can't grab it. That's it. Right back. Yeah. Let's go nose press to switch nose press out. See us good. For any of you guys watching right now, we're doing a live game of skate in our case game of snow. I'm currently on S. Mason's currently on S N. Trying to eliminate him. He's got the advantage. He's got no top piece. I have a top piece, makes it quite a bit trickier. But he needs every advantage I've given. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay. This is a tail press with a grab nose grab. Ooh, okay. That's like a block store. I like it. Oh, that was not, but that was intimidating. No sit. Okay, let me try the same thing. Oh, no, missed the grab. Let me try the same thing. Nah, no, missed it. Okay, same thing. So one of us gets it. Not good enough. Oh, yeah. But same thing. change up back to change up again? Yeah. Didn't get it. Okay. Same thing. You'll see it. No. Nope. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Front three. Right. Easy without the top. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, not as good as your practice. No, not as good. 
Front left. Backside, 270 on, okay. 270 out. Tricks are going to get you here. Tail slide, change up front board, okay. pull back. Okay. So it's so tail slide, change up to a to like a board slide. So to here, change up to that way, right? Yep. Yeah. And then pull back. Oh, still alive. Hmm. Still alive. <laughs> <laughs>